What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content and today we're here to cover more of the Lenovo Legion Go and Windows PC. So this video can actually apply to other gaming handhelds like the Asus ROG Ally and what we're focusing on today is customizing that on-screen keyboard. Now customizing the on-screen keyboard is pretty cool because it's going to give your device a unique appearance that works best for your taste. That being said, the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency with technology. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about what's going on here. And first, I'm going to pull up my on-screen keyboard. So we're going to have the on-screen keyboard icon in the bottom right-hand corner. It's in this dock where you'll find the date and the time, and we'll have the little keyboard icon. So we're going to tap on that. And this pulls up my on-screen keyboard. And I have this really cool Cyberpunk 2077 Arasaka Netrunners operation wallpaper run in here. It looks really cool. You can see at the bottom we have this technical edition here. It says network online with the long string of numbers. It just gives the Lenovo Legion Go a more techy feel. This is kind of my vibe here. And this wallpaper fits the on-screen keyboard really nice. It's the perfect fit. So if you're looking for something like this, you're a cyberpunk fan, you can do a search for cyberpunk 2077 Arasaka wallpaper and find some images that you would like and download them to your Lenovo Legion Go or Windows PC that has a touchscreen keyboard and play with it. So let's talk how to customize this on-screen keyboard. We're going to have a gear icon in the top left-hand corner of this on-screen keyboard, and we're going to tap on it. And that's going to show a drop-down menu. And we're going to look for size and theme and tap on that as well. So this is going to open a new page called Personalization. And in this, we're going to have text input. Now you're going to see that our on-screen keyboard is covering about half the page here. So if we want to get a better view of it, we could do so by closing our on-screen keyboard. Now we're going to look at the section titled theme and we're going to tap on that and that's going to expand. So we're going to have all our theme options. And what's really cool is that any theme that you tap on, it applies immediately, it goes live. So for example, just for reference, we're going to pull up the on-screen keyboard again. You can see that's my on-screen keyboard with that Arasaka wallpaper. But if I tap on any of the themes here, it's going to change it immediately. We're just going to run through some of them so that you can see the presets. They're pretty nice here. So if you want just a quick change, maybe you don't want to go through this whole tutorial. Maybe you're just looking for something quick for the moment. You've got a lot of options to work with here. We're actually going through all of them and they all look pretty slick. But again, the focus here is to create a custom theme. So I'm going to select mine. And again, this goes live, so it applies my custom theme. But I wanna show you how to do this. So we're gonna have the edit button under the custom theme here, and we're going to tap on that. And this is going to open the custom theme page. And we're going to make this video as simple as possible. So there are a few things we can skip here since we're going to be using our own background image for the on-screen keyboard. So we can nix background color and accent color. Those we don't have to play with at all. Those are normally for if you're not using a background image, you're just using colors. So we're going to jump right to the background picture and we have the down arrow on the right side of the page. We're going to tap on that and that's going to expand the category. Now again, if we pull up my keyboard, you'll see that I have the Arasaka Netrunner Operations wallpaper here. I love saying that. But we can actually remove it. Now this doesn't happen live. So any changes we make on this page, we would have to go down to the bottom and then tap save. And then it backs you out of the page. So this is one thing I don't like because you have to go back in and you have to go back into the background picture. So we're treating this as though we're uploading a background picture for the first time here. So we're going to have in the background picture category, choose a picture, and we're going to tap browse. And this is going to open up a file directory. Now you'll see here, 
that our images are showing up, but you may have to go to your downloads folder or your pictures folder, wherever you might have saved your images. They might not necessarily show up immediately like how I have here. And also, if you want to have your images easier to see, we can use the built-in touchpad, press and hold within that file directories box, go to view, and we can select a larger view. So I have large icons right now, but I can select extra large. And that's going to make things a little bit easier to see, especially on a device like this where the display is smaller than a laptop or a desktop display. But we're going to go ahead and select my image here. And again, this doesn't happen live, even though we have selected the image. So once again, we have to go down to the bottom and tap save. And there we go. My background wallpaper is selected for the on-screen keyboard. But we have more changes to make. This is as simple as it gets though. If you wanna just go to this point and you don't wanna mess with anything else, you could stop here if you're happy with the results. But you might not be because there may be some things that don't necessarily look all that great here that don't match your on-screen keyboard wallpaper. So let's continue on. So again, we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go back to our custom theme. We're going to tap edit. And I'm just going to expand the background picture category again. Make sure we covered all the bases here. Now, we have a few things we still want to cover. So again, we have our background image applied, but then we have choose a fit. Now I personally recommend stretch, although we have options of fill and fit. So you can experiment, but according to my experience, stretch has worked the best for me. And then we have image brightness and I'm at about 50%. That's what I would recommend. If you go to the left too far, you might not be able to see your image. If you go to the right too far, it might be too bright that you also can't see your image. So now that we're done here, we can actually minimize this category. Again, we can skip the accent color and we can skip the text color. That doesn't seem to apply here at all either. And finally, we're going to have the touch keyboard category. This is the final category we need to cover for this tutorial in order to customize our on display keyboard. So we're going to have a down arrow on the right side of the display here and we can tap on it and that's going to expand the category. Now I'm going to scroll down here just so we get a better view. First, we're going to have key background color. Now mine is red and I want to demonstrate this. So we'll change it to blue because that stands out really well. We're going to tap done. And again, this doesn't happen live, so we have to tap save. And there we go. That's what my keyboard would look like with blue keys. Now I'm going to go back to edit here. And then we're going to go back to touch keyboard. So as you're following this tutorial, see there's a lot of back and forth. That's the only con with customization here. I've had to do quite a bit of experimenting. So we have our key background color. I'm going to change it back to red though, because that's my style. And we're going to tap done. But before we do so, I want to also point out, you can scroll down, you have more customization underneath. You have this slider where you can customize the darkness or brightness of the color. But I like my red really bright. So we're going to keep everything as it is and I'm going to tap save. Now you don't necessarily have to do save after every action. I just prefer to do so because I like to see each change happen one by one. So again, we're going back into things here, go back to the touch keyboard, and then we're going to have key background transparency. Now I like anything between 50 and 75%. Let's try 50 here. We'll try and get it right on the dot. I'm very precise about things here. And then we're going to tap save. Make sure you pay attention to how the keyboard changes. And you can see the keys look a bit darker. So something to keep in mind, you can make your keys themselves look darker or lighter, depending on the effect you're looking to get with the on-screen keyboard. We're going to run back into things again, tap edit, go back to touch keyboard, expand the section, and then we're going to have key text color. So this is going to be the color of the letters and the abbreviations and the symbols on the keyboard. Mine is white right now. Let's go ahead and change it. Let's do something a little bit different here. 
Uh, we'll go. We'll go with. Uh, we'll go with yellow. Let's see if we can get yellow here. Sometimes this is a little challenging to do. There we go. We've got yellow. I'm going to tap done. We're going to tap save. And now you can see the keys. The text on the keys changes to yellow. So there's a lot going on here. There's a lot you can do with just the keyboard itself. But again, I like my keyboard key text to be white here. So we're going to go back to touch keyboard, expand the list, go back to key text color, and I'm going to change it back to white, tap done, and then we're going to tap save. Now, interesting enough, there is a view your changes here, and you can open the keyboard to view the changes. But again, this doesn't happen live, so I'm not sure why this option is here. There is some small inconsistencies as well. As you're running through this, you might realize that some things don't actually apply on the first try. You might have to redo them again. So that's something I've noticed with this too. It's, it's filled with a few glitches here, so something to keep in mind. So we've got our key text color white. We're going to tap save. And that's pretty much how I like my keyboard. This is just complimentary of the setup here. Let's see if we can get a better view on the camera there. I just like the theme here. So I've got that nice Arasaka, Arasaka. That's probably how you say it properly. Arasaka wallpaper, cyberpunk Arasaka wallpaper. I've got some nice stickers on the back here going on just to kind of carry the theme. It's just really looking sharp here, looking really clean, looking like something out of cyberpunk. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.